Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Softcore Brony, welcoming you back to Let's Play uh, My Little Pony Fantasy 6. Last time, we met the great and powerful Trixie and finished Bloom's Quest. And now today, we get to hang with Luna! Alrighty, so what did befall Luna after she, uh, you know, fell off the boat? Or jumped off of her own accord? Well, she ended up way the heck over here in... Oh, okay. Uh, where she gets in battles in one single step. Oh, well, this is easy enough to handle. Just Hadouken everything and she'll be fine. Say, you know, I know that Hadouken is technically from, you know, based on Ryu from Street Fighter, but do you think perhaps uh, there's some uh, emphasis here on uh, Black Mage from 8-Bit Theater? Uh, I, I gotta wonder. Any answers there? Well, that battle was simple enough, and hey, Luna gained a level, all right. So technically, we're actually pretty close to Neche. It's a relatively short distance that way, but we can't cross rivers, so we're just stuck over here on this continent in this little house, and Hey! It's Fluttershy, and what are you doing here, you darn soldier? Wait, merchant? Why the heck you dressed up like that? Huh. No, obviously, I'm not. Alright, let's see the goods. There's, uh, a couple things interesting here. Uh, we don't care about the plumed hat or the horseshoes, but we got these, uh, strange things called shurikens, and we wanted to buy about 22 of these. Uh, we also have uh, two other items of interest, the ghost scroll and the mirror dust. I don't ever care about the mirror dust. We want two of these ghost scrolls. They will allow us to use the vanish ability, or at least they'll allow some to- Hey! You ran right over me, you jerk! So we got Fluttershy over here, and hey, it's her dog! Nice dog- Ah! Okay, fine. Uh, maybe from this side? Ah! Okay. Forget it. Let's just talk to Fluttershy. Or yell at her. That works too, Luna. Yeah, would you talk to someone who just started randomly yelling at you? Yeah. I love how they incorporate this scene in, uh, from the show. Yeah, that's way better, Luna. Say, how do you think they would justify Luna not speaking in all caps uh, later in the game if you don't speak to Fluttershy? Because, you know, that is an option. Hey! Let's get Fluttershy to join us! What an awesome idea! Why not? Alright, we've got Fluttershy in the party now! Okay then, first thing we want to do is put her in the back just like every other pony in this game. So, let's take a look at what's different between her and Shadow. Uh, actually, as you can see, not a whole lot. Uh, Fluttershy probably has the least significant change in stats of all the characters. Uh, the highest one really being speed, which is a whopping four points higher. Everything else is very, very close to being the same. Uh, it should be noted, though, that she do is tied for the highest speed rating in the game. And yes, bronies, the character you're thinking of who she must be tied to is probably true. Uh, also, she has the highest evasion rating in the game. Now, Fluttershy comes with the almighty throw command, just like Shadow. It's his, you know, signature move. Uh, I've never been a big fan of the throw command in any of the Final Fantasy games, because I tend to be a very conservative item user. However, a Final Fantasy VI is probably the one game in which I actually do like it, because throwing items are not absurdly expensive. So, otherwise, you can see she has this strange ability called the Stare. I guess we'll have to find out what that does in battle a little later. Now, there's a few other uh, more major differences between Fluttershy and Shadow, uh, and that starts with her equipment, where there's a couple of differences. And I'm not talking about the fact that she doesn't come equipped with the ninja gear. That's a negligible difference at best. Now, what I'm really talking about is this. Fluttershy can equip shurikens. 
Unlike Shadow, this is a totally new and, frankly, really awesome thing. Not to mention dirt cheap. I mean, 30 GP for a weapon boost of that sort. Notice that she has a stupidly high battle power all of a sudden compared to, you know, Luna. Well, that's because shurikens have a little special ability of their own. They come with auto power grip. That's the gauntlet for you, uh, you know, FF6 buffs. Pretty cool there. I actually forgot what I was going to say. I had something else I wanted to say there. Uh, we don't want to equip... Oops, sorry about that. We don't want to equip that anyway. So yeah, major difference there. Uh, the Shuriken and its two major upgrades will automatically double in battle power so long as Fluttershy is not equipped with a shield. Uh, it's sort of useful. I don't really make a lot of use of it myself, but, you know, if you want it, it's there. Other thing to note, Fluttershy has a weird icon next to her. That's the float status. Uh, compliments of the Pony Feather, otherwise known as the Cherub Down in the original game. Uh, it's a little different than it was in the original. In fact, I'm going to unequip both of these so we can take a closer look at them. Uh, Pony Feather. Notice it says, blocks wind and bolt damage by 50%. That is completely new from the Chair of Down, which, uh, by the way, does cast auto float, if I didn't make that clear already. Uh, float is a, a status that basically protects us solely from the Quake spell and Magnitude 8 spell, which we're not going to see any of uh, any of for quite a while, so uh, I'm not going to equip this right now. Other thing to note... Only uh, characters with wings can equip this item, so uh, Twy and Bloom and Trixie are stuck on the ground for now, and it also increases speed and evasion a little bit, so it's a little useful. Oh, one thing to note, we're not really going to run into a whole lot of wind and bolt in the near future either, so whatever. Other thing, the Memento Band, something that we normally wouldn't be able to get till much later in the game. Love a departed family. Oh, poor Fluttershy. This is a pretty cool uh, little relic. It, it protects from uh, zombie, petrification, and magical instant death. Emphasis on magical, because uh, there's a, a select few abilities in the game, uh, I think one or two uh, instant death skills that are considered to be physical. This will not protect you from those. Other thing to note, Bloom can equip this. Seriously? Yeah, that's a difference from before. So, I wonder what it is that Bloom uh, may have happened to Bloom. You know, that warrants her being able to use this. Perhaps we'll find out later. So, other than that, uh, there's not a whole lot to... Uh else to talk well there is a couple other things to talk about but I'm gonna re-equip the party real quick and I'll be right back I don't know what I was talking about back there I have a lot more to say about Fluttershy just not right at the moment while there's nothing to show so anyway here's my setup real quick uh, I have Fluttershy equipped with two shurikens cuz two are just do more damage than you know one double hoofed uh, that's pretty much why everyone scoffs at the gauntlet slash power grip so, let's check out this house, shall we? Oh, hey. What's up? Hey. Clockmaker? Um, no, Luna's not uh, the pony of time or anything. Wait, what clock? What are you talking about, old man? Old stallion? Lawnmower? Uh, no, I don't know how to... The stove? What could be wrong with the stove? Yeah, that's right. Princess of the night, think you made a her of me? The bed? The bed? You mean this bed that we can sleep in while you're standing there? <sighs> Fine, you weird old guy. Uh, what was it you were saying about that stove? Ow! Well, you mentioned it, dude. The belt? The heck is the belt? Well, anyway. Hey, what's up? Hey! Dang, that was fast. Holy crud. Well, anyway, uh, back to the topic of Fluttershy. Uh, she's rather unique among our party members because she has two uh, passive abilities. Uh, the first one is Dog Block, which revolves around Angel. Uh, basically, when Fluttershy takes... 
Oh, well, hang on, hold that, hold that thought. Let's figure out what Stair does real quick. Yeah, it's the flippin' control ability from Realm. Minus the, uh, you know, uh, used up relic slot. So basically what uh, the Stair does here is we can uh, now uh, take control of this enemy. It won't do anything until Fluttershy tells it to. We have a couple of useless abilities to use right now, but uh, uh, other enemies will have other stuff. Uh, not uh, Fluttershy can't control everything, though. Uh, you know, like bosses, for example, but for the pro for the moment, I'm actually going to have this thing hit itself because I... Wow, it missed? Really? That's lame. Because I want to have uh, Fluttershy set up with something real quick. Alright, hang on. Hold it. Hold it. Now, throw! Oops, I went too far. I want to use Ghost Scroll on Fluttershy. Or not. <sighs> okay, I'll explain what that was in just a moment. Basically, what I want to do is uh, I want Fluttershy to become invisible so that she'll be immune to physical damage for the next section. Uh, anyway, where was I? Angel! Angel, dog block! When Fluttershy takes physical damage, there's a 50% chance that Angel will come out to protect her and all those keep talking. Uh, subsequently, there was a 50% chance that uh, Angel will uh, attack, counterattack. I totally lost my train of thought there in doing that. Uh, anyway, there's a 50% chance that Angel will use a counterattack when he blocks damage for Fluttershy. Well, I'm sorry, I'm totally losing my train of thought here. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, he'll use one of two moves, which is a 50-50 50, uh, 50 chance of using either one. Uh, the formula for those should be popping up on screen here. As you can see, we are very overpowered here. Anyway, Fluttershy is... Oh, wait, one more thing. Uh, interesting thing about uh, Angel's attack. It's surprisingly non-elemental, unblockable magic damage. It's based on Fluttershy's magic stats. And keep in mind, it will not have any effect on flying slash floating enemies. Anyway, Fluttershy's other passive ability is uh, totally new to the game. It's a counterattack raid. That's what you saw a little earlier. Uh, I'm not sure precisely uh, what the rate is. I estimate it's somewhere between 25 and 50 percent. But basically, whenever Fluttershy is uh, hit by a physical attack and, you know, she's not protected by Angel, then she might do that. It's pretty cool. I actually really like that. And hey, look at this. We're in the freaking Imperial camp. Well, Oh. Huh. That sounds like something more Fluttershy would say than, uh, Luna. Heard what? Discord. Discord's here? General Zakora. Yep, Zakora's playing the part of General Leo in this game. I love the reference. All right, all right. Oh, hey! It's Discord! Don't want to miss- That was your post, like, two feet away from each other? Wow, Discord. You seem a lot colder than you do in the show. Huh, well... Discord's kind of a jerk. Yeah, we all know that much. Sheesh. Sweet Apple Castle? Wait a minute. You mean we don't get to do anything yet? Luna's just going to stand around while this uh, former Doma castle gets pounded on? Oh crud. This looks bad. And they implement the greatest attack strategy ever! Attack the stone wall! This is about as brilliant as the plan that Chrysalis' minions came up with to destroy the barrier. What? They're just attacking the wall? We'll be fine! Uh -huh. 
A. Who has a problem with fancy mathematics? Why, the character with badass music, that's who! Oh yeah, one of my favorite characters right there. Uh, either show or this game for that matter. It's AJ, alrighty! Applejack. Very appropriate for this role, I think. Actually, a lot of characters are oddly appropriate for their roles, aren't they? Yeehaw! Alright, let's totally stop this uh, invasion that these guys are totally not paying attention to me for. Seriously, we can just walk right around these guys and they won't do a darn thing. You guys are dumb. What's your problem? Well, anyway, uh, while we're here, let's take a look at AJ's stats real quick. Uh, as you can see, many of AJ's stats have taken quite a jump from Cyan. Uh, Cyan is a pretty cool character and all, but, you know, let's face it, as a party member he is, uh, shall we say, lackluster. Uh, AJ takes everything that was unimpressive about poor Cyan and improves it greatly to make her a much more effective character, now sporting, appropriately, the highest attack and natural defense rating in the game. Uh, interestingly, she also possesses, possesses the second highest magic power rating among the designated strength characters, uh, compared to Cyan, who sported the lowest of uh, any character. Uh, these improved stats work very well with her more properly called uh, Bushido. So these uh, two have been uh, changed uh, slightly compared to Cyan's old sword tech. We still have uh, three of the traditional moves, Dispatch and Counter, uh, being uh, two of those. Uh, but now we also include a few new ones, including Ryu Engine, which is a full-fledged physical attack similar to Dispatch, except now with a fire elemental property. Uh, many of Aegis Bushido's now sport these elemental properties, in fact, drastically changing her usefulness throughout the game. And this is on top of the fact that most of them are still affected by her strength rating, which I already mentioned is the highest in the game. So, uh, what about her strangely high magic power rating then? Uh, sorry about that jump there, I had to take care of something real quick. Uh, anyway, uh, while we're on the uh, subject, I'm sure some of you uh, FF6 buffs uh, already noticed from back there in the status screen and your eyes are kind of bugging out right now. Arts is highlighted here. So, yeah! AJ was given a freaking blitz command. The Hadoukens have been doubled. However, this doesn't make Luna obsolete. Uh, because of their equipment, AJ's based uh, arts will never be stronger than Luna's, or magic-based arts, excuse me, are won't be stronger than Luna's, and uh, as long as they're at similar levels, and it's cer but there's still certainly nothing to scoff at. Of course, this does bring us to the topic of her equipment. Uh, the main difference here are the katanas. Uh, just like Fluttershy, uh, Fluttershy shurikens, uh, katanas are now automatically power grip when AJ is without a shield. Unfortunately, neither Arts nor Bushido is affected by battle power or row, and uh, none of AJ's weapons will ever outdamage her most basic Bushido dispatch or her most basic uh, physical blitz. Uh, but it still has its uses from time to time, and unlike Fluttershy, I will be making use of it here. Uh, let's see, the only other things to note about AJ is that uh, she comes equipped with uh, horseshoes. Whoop de doo. And also, one other thing. She can equip the Memento Band. I wonder what could possibly happen to her, have happened to her that allows her to equip this. Well, anyway, I'm going to uh, re-equip AJ real quick, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Uh, AJ is uh, now equipped with a shield because uh, we don't really need to double hoof the Tonto there for now. Uh, as I said already, it uh, doesn't affect her either of her two abilities, so. Anyway, we can fight these guys if we want to. What's up, Silja? It's not really that interesting, though, as uh, they won't give us much. Anyway, Bushido works like this. It's a uh, sort of like the, uh, you know, the, our uh, ATB gauge, except you know we can decide when to unleash it. This has kind of been Cyan's bane, because once we get to the higher numbers out there at, you know, 6, 7, 8, whatnot, it gets rather tedious and takes a really long time. Alright. Yeah, we only get GP for fighting these losers. 
So anyway, yeah, it takes kind of a long time, and it gets, uh, you know, yeah, there's no way to speed it up. That's the sad thing. However, let's forget fighting all these dumb guys, and we'll just go straight to the commander here, because that's what we're supposed to do. What's up? So, just for the sake of showing it, this is probably the only battle, one of the few battles in the game that this is actually, you know, viable with. Da, 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 da. Come on, come on. Alrighty, counter! And if not, we'll just uh, use that instead. Oh, wow, he survived, huh? Well, fine. Hadouken! AJ style! I guess it's sort of like Ryu and Ken, huh? And hey, appropriately, we get a black belt for that Hadouken. All right! Uh, black belt uh, gives us a counterattack rate of about 25%. Uh, and also, I believe it in, it uh, increases Fluttershy's counterattack rate if she equips it, but it's not really that necessary. Get along, little doggy! All right, AJ is victorious. Flawless victory, sort of. And hey, we're with Fluttershy now, back in here in the Imperial base, and this guy's a moron. Seriously, I mean, you can't even see us. What's your deal, dude? Dude, are you even gonna move? I mean. Are you serious? I was blocking him? Wow. Anyway, there's nothing important in there. Uh, we can come over here, though. Woofie. Dog. Anyway, that dog's not going to do anything. Unless we do something with this treasure chest. We have, This treasure chest won't open. We have three choices. Bucket, hoof it, or just leave it. Leave it, of course, isn't going to do anything. If we bucket, that dog, which is a Doberman, by the way, will come and attack us. Uh, incidentally, it's the only uh, Doberman in the entire game, so if you're looking to, you know, fight everything, well, go ahead and buck it. Otherwise, we're just gonna hoof stomp it. Ow! Uh-oh. Crud. How did you hide in the treasure chest? And why did that other guy, that idiot over there, not come? No one here but us chickens! Oh, I love it. Metal Gear Solid reference. Wow. So, now the treasure chest is open and we get a star bow for our efforts. Wow. Anyway, I'll never fight you, dog. You're cool. And I'm Fluttershy. Heck yeah. And you're still an idiot. What the heck is your... Dude, I'm right here. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. Whoa. Oh, General Zakora! Oh, by the way, she's rhyming with that guy there. I didn't realize that the first time, because, you know, I thought it was kind of inappropriate at first, because I didn't think she was, you know, doing her usual rhyming like she does in the show, but... Well, anyway, you see that. Oh, you're a dedicated soldier, dude! Aw, good point there, Zakora. You know, it just brings to mind the eternal question that all the FF6 buffs have asked uh, before, whether it's General Leo or Zakora. What the heck are they doing in the freaking Empire? You know, with such a being such a just uh, individual and all. Emperor? Eh? What's this about? Oops, sorry about that, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> yes, Zakora's plans. Not anyone else's, just Zakora's, please. It would be best. You can see where this is going, right? Alright, Zakora's awesome. Alrighty. Yeah, seriously, what is she doing in the Empire? Uh-oh. Well, we gotta walk far, didn't we? Ooh, it's that evil Discord. I guess the Empire is kind of evil, so, you know, it goes with the territory. Except for Zakora.
Oh yes, I'm just gonna, you know, sit around and play tiddlywinks while you're gone. Of course! Yeah, tiddlywinks! Already told ya. And she walked right by us. Didn't even see us. Apparently this is a really good hiding spot. Neurotoxin? A? Eh? Poison the river? Oh, so that's what Trixie was talking about before. Man, heartless. He doesn't even care about his own soldiers. You jerk! Quiet me. Oh, yeah? Wow. How about I just, you know, toss some shurikens on... Wow, that was weak. But it doesn't really matter. He only takes one hit, and then this happens. Hold thyself! Nay! Come back here, fiend! Hey! But before we, uh, you know, get around to, uh, messing with Discord here, we have a couple other things we can do now. We can walk around the camp. We can go into some of the, uh, the, uh, tents here. Of course, there's nothing in that one. But, more importantly, we can go over to, uh, this one over here. And, interestingly, we can walk back here! And we automatically walk into the tent. And, uh, we can get a magic band! This is a, uh, little, oh, bleh, little relic. Uh, when it basically, whenever we're, uh, critically low on HP, uh, it'll automatically cast Shell. And new to the game, I, no, it's not new to the game, never mind. It's always done that. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna forget about that. We're never gonna use that. It's totally useless. Alright, otherwise... Let's open this treasure right here, and we get a Mithril Band! It's essentially the same thing as the Magic Band, except it casts safe. And, uh, yeah, we'll just forget about both of those for the rest of our lives. In the meantime, we have another treasure chest over here, but first, I'm gonna change my equipment real quick. <sighs> Don't you hate it when you're trying to record something, but it turns out you weren't recording anything? Anyway, now that I'm back here again, uh, here's my equipment setup. Uh, I thought I had Luna equipped with uh, earrings, but apparently it was the blue ri ribbon all along. Uh, anyway, uh, that will be important, and also I've uh, given Luna the bandana like she was supposed to have from the beginning. Anyway, now that we've done that, it's time to open this shredder chest! And it's a freaking monster! How do they stuff that thing in there, anyway? So, let's just... Uh, Get this thing down, shall we? Alrighty. Hadouken! And the reason we equipped the blue ribbon is because uh, of that ability right there, Mega Zerk. Uh, the uh, enemy there will automatically, or Telstar there, will automatically counter any uh, art with Mega Zerk, which casts Berserk, which would really suck on Luna, especially since she's in the back row. Ha-ha! And we get a green beret! A pretty darn good helmet at this point in the game. Uh, well, any, for any point in the game, really. Uh, not only does it increase our stats a bit, but it also increases our maximum HP by 12.5%. Uh, much like the Knight's Oath. Alright, so, now that we've, uh, messed with, uh, that, we can finally get back to Discord! Hey! Get back here! Oh, is it now? Well... Huzzah! Hadouken! What the heck? You disappeared for a minute there. Discord! Hold, knave, so that we might kick thy wicked ass with our royal hoof! Hey! Well, well. Alright, so, this is why I have Fluttershy with Invisible. 
uh, which you may or may not see in a moment. Ow. It's probably not that important, really. In fact, I don't even know why I'm doing it. But yeah, counter. That's why it fails. Yeah, I just wanted to show that real quick. Okay. So that was the reason, and hey, didn't counterattack, all right. Stop attacking Luna! Attack Fluttershy! Huh. Well, they didn't counter as much as I thought they would. Alrighty. However, that battle lasted a long time. So long, in fact, that Discord is ready to make chaos! But what kind of chaos? We'll find out next time on Let's Play My Little Pony Fantasy VI. Arrivederci!